boys, what is going on? Welcome everybody back to another review. So today we'll be reviewing the new SBC team of the season, Steven Korka, I believe it is pronounced. An Englishman from the Turkish League, 85 pace, and you know what? I'm going to say it. This card, in my opinion, is the definition of underrated. I have not seen any other reviews on him, I don't think. Maybe another one or two reviews. And I actually just completed him with spear fodder. And I thought, you know what? Let's give him a run. Because, to be honest, I reckon he will be better than my moments Campbell. He's he's more, quote-unquote, meta this year. I'm looking forward to trying him, boys. Let's hit him in the squad. You can see he fits in absolutely perfectly. And that's the props of having an Englishman. He links with, basically, he, he links with Tots Shaw. He links with Tots Wambasaka. If you guys are still someone that is using Joe Gomez, he links with Joe Gomez. So boys, coming in at 6 foot 3, first of all, tick, medium high work rates, phenomenal, especially the high defensive work rates is huge. Going to attributes, you will see he's got 85 pace, and to be honest, the only worry is that 77 acceleration, but with a shadow, he goes to 87 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. So his sprint speed will be incredible. His passing is honestly solid as a center back. And I'm going to say it now, and most of you, if you do watch my reviews, you will know when I review center backs. Passing is very underrated as a center back, in my opinion. I honestly, for high tier centre backs, I feel like you need passing. And to be honest, that is why full backs are very meta this year. Obviously, they're faster, they can counter through balls more. But also, they've usually got much better passing. And passing this year is very, very crucial. So the fact that he's still got 91 short passing and 88 long passing as a centre back is phenomenal. Not only that, but he's 91 agility as a centre back is insane. 99 composure. Defending with a shadow going to 99 slide, 96 stand, 95 awareness, 98 hitting, 98 interceptions. He's got 99 strength as well. This card looks absolutely nutty and he does have the power here to trade. Like I said, this card literally ticks all the boxes, but the only thing that is a little bit worrying is that 77 acceleration, but nonetheless this card looks absolutely cracked. He's only coming in at 90,000 coins as well. An 80 rated score and an 84 rated squad, um, both including an inform, which for this card is absolutely phenomenal value. Let's get into the game and let's see how he performs in Division 1. And, and another beauty of recording reviews on centre backs is I can play two free matches, and even if I get thrashed in one or two of them, it's a perfect example on how he's going to perform. We better thrash this team. How is this team in Division 1? This is either his road to glory and he's an absolutely cracked player, or. I don't know how I'm facing this team in Division 1. Ah, uh, okay. It, it is jammy. Let's give it to him. Okay. Wow. See, it always, you know what's really weird, right? Is the 91 agility on 6 foot 3 centre backs, and he has got the high and average body type as well. It is so odd because obviously he doesn't feel like he has got 91 agility because when you are 6 foot 3 with a, a clunky body type, you're obviously you're not going to be nowhere near as responsive as a 5 foot 8 player with a lean body type with 91 agility would be. So that's the thing, he's not going to be necessarily as smooth as you think on the ball with that 91 agility, but nonetheless, on the ball dribbling, he is absolutely fine. Back to him. Like I said, passing is underrated as a centre back. He's progressed the pitch with him a little bit. He obviously, he's fine getting past. I, I, it looks like he's brought on Tot Zabata. See, the 91 agility in positions like this as well, when they do put pressure on, you are in a lot less pressure. And going from like myself, I did go from a 30 balance Sol Campbell. There is a significant difference. A significant difference. You feel way less pressure when the, you know, like when near attackers are pressing, you've got way less pressure because you know he's got the good dribbling, the 91 agility, he can turn, he can get out of sticky positions. But like I said, still with his body type, he's not going to be absolutely incredible on the ball. It looks like my opponent is going to quit here. I want to see if Corknets do anything, and he does get a tackle in before. Maybe my opponent's quitting, I'm not sure. Either way, a beautiful tackle. Pale is going to bang that. Surely he's gone now. Let's hop into another game. Once again, I don't know how this dude is in Division 1, but Corknets would be absolutely, I say brilliant, we've only played 20 minutes with him, but already getting a very solid tackle in there, 6.9, 1 out of 1 tackles, not much to do. But what I can tell is his agility... Very solid. Um, his acceleration, we really haven't had to run too much with him. Once again, just to prove I'm in Division 1. No clue how that dude is in Division 1 with that team. Unless EA have butchered matchmaking again and literally put me against a lower division player. Which I know they do often. I don't know why, but sometimes me being, I think I'm like around 2k skill rating, my opponents are much lower. See, he's in Division 1. 
Fair play to him, I guess. Fair play to him. Let's hop into the next match. The next team we're facing, Neymar, uh, is that what? Freeze, Marquinhos, he's got Prime Makulele. Very solid defense here, a big test. I'm gonna go long to Zambrotta. Solid pass once again. I believe that's curve, long passing. He's got it all, boys. And, and like I said, passing incredibly underrated as a center back. Korkner versus Coutinho going in for the slide. I was going to say that was a little bit late. At first, I thought it was fine. It was a little bit late. I believe we'll be picking up a yellow card from that. Korkner once again against Bruno. Can he mark him? Beautiful block. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. Korkner once again. Putting Coutinho in his back pocket. That's what we're talking about, boys. Beautiful tackle from Rambasaka. It's Bruno versus Korkner now. He's going to wait for me to bring him out. I'm not falling for that, my friend. Korkner, read him like a book. Beautiful goal, boys. Come on. This game is tight. I'll tell you that. This game is tight. My opponent's a very solid player with a very solid team. Holy shit. We have been a get-out-of-jail-free card there. Korkner was there for the clearance as well. Good positioning. As any centre back would. Beautiful. Corkner versus Coutinho. I still have to be careful. If I miss time a challenge, it's over. Dude, Corkner has not put a foot wrong yet. It's been what almost one and a half games now. Basically one and a half games when this game's over. He has not put in a foot wrong. He's gone like what six out of six tackles. That's another interception there. Always in the right position. His passing is solid. Genuinely, even his sprint speed. Can't lie, we haven't been in a running race with a fast player as of yet, so I cannot judge that sprint speed fully. But even still, he goes to 87 sprint speed with a shadow. Card is genuinely doing bits right now. There we are. Now he's in a running race. All right, speaking of the devil, can he get back against Coutinho? Coutinho gets a better of him, and he just misses. To be fair, it was a close race. I, I kind of just misread my opponent. My opponent with some nice dribbling there. He doesn't... I mean, he's obviously fast. Like 95 or 93 pace with a shadow. That sprint speed is interesting, or the acceleration I believe it is, is, is interesting, but still, I mean, I barely noticed it, barely noticed it. That 99 sprint speed genuinely makes up for it. And what a result, boys. We hold it off to a 2-1 win. I can't lie, I felt like the game was going against me at the end. The ball always fouled to him. My shots, it genuinely felt like they had 5 shooting, but it is what it is. We take a 2-1 win nonetheless. What a performance from Corker. I want to see how much tackles he got, because he was sublime. One out of three, if that's not accurate at all. Genuinely, that's not. You guys saw it in the video. Actually, to be fair, interceptions or, I think, stealing the ball off of him without pressing the tackle button doesn't count. So that must be it. But still dropping a 7.1. Obviously, that yellow card will be bringing it down a little bit. Absolutely two back-to-back -back phenomenal performances from him. So I'll play over to the pros and cons. Looking from left to right, starting off with a pros, it is going to be six foot three. It's going to be his high defensive work rates. It is going to be his sprint speed of 91, going to 99 with a shadow, but 91 sprint speed. It's going to be his 91 agility, 99 composure, and obviously just his defending and physical. Physical being obviously the 99 strength. And literally the only con, the only con I can think of is literally going to be that 77 acceleration even then chuck a shadow on him and he goes to 87 acceleration which is not bad at all and i'm gonna have a look on footbin to see what he goes up to um but boys honestly this card is absolutely phenomenal honestly he is the definition in my opinion of underrated right let's have a look so in game corker let's see what he goes to he goes to with a shadow chemistry style applied Thing is, he probably do a job in other positions as well. Like his 50 shooting is obviously bad, like not great enough for a CDM. If you have to a defensive CDM, he wouldn't be terrible. With a shadow applied, he goes to a 94 rated centre back uh, and a 91 rated CDM in game, a 91 right back or 91 left back as well. Card is genuinely nuts. So for the rating out of 10 today, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this card based on value. He's only 90,000 coins. I'm going to give him a nine. Really, really enjoyed this card. It didn't put much wrong at all going into tackles. You feel confident. 91 agility. If you have a ball at his feet, you feel confident. And is it a tick? Is it a cross? I mean, it's self-explanatory. It's a tick from me, lads. Amazing card. 9 out of 10. I'm going to say he's worth it, lads. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and sub. We're currently 110 subscribers away from the big 6K. So we're getting there. Uh, I think we're expected to hit it next month, maybe. It's going to be close. But until next time, boys, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, lads.